Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, it's Steve and Joe from Everag Insights. And Steve, we're back this week with a negative GDT result, down mm. just over 2% this week mm. for 351. A bit of the context around that and, of course, chart of the week. Okay, let's get into it. There's a bit of, bit of lead up that's interesting. We think the most significant thing to look at right now is what's happening in European milk production or what might happen in spring. Here's some early form guide. The weekly data out of France and Germany is, everyone watches this, but this is quite important to see that they're back to level in mm. combined numbers. There's other countries that, you know, up and down, but when you've got the big two that represent over 60 billion litres, that's a good indicator of where we're heading. We have put up that forecast for a warmer spring, given the um, the moisture that's already in the ground. Yeah, and there's been a bit of upward movement in farm gate prices in Europe mm. too, Steve, just as that competition for milk heats up. Yep. So one to watch for sure. Yeah. Then we have a couple of uh, indicators. The pulse last week went down for whole milk powder, and we've seen the futures market drift weaker, a couple mm. hundred dollars a tonne there in, in the last two weeks. And when we swing to skim milk powder, it looks a bit worse because mm. that's a slippery slope there. And, you know, that's coming off that European outlook that we've talked about, the Futures market Europe, not so dramatic, but certainly we've seen a response in NZX futures. So drifting weaker, expected that this result would be similar. The butter market in Europe still seems pretty confused. Yeah, it's, um, it has, um, again, relaxed a bit yeah. in um, the last couple of weeks, but still some mixed signals there, Steve. Yeah, and it, the trades are being done all over the place and, the, and there's a lot of mis- messages in the market seems to be looking for some direction. Mm. So heading into this event... We've had the expected result with powders. Yes. Skim taking a much bigger hit on average. Skim down 5%. Some of the New Zealand prices were hit harder than that. Mm. And interestingly, a a much softer impact on European prices. In fact, um, European numbers ended up larger as a result. The prices were higher after this, particularly the Solarite product. But fats a bit mixed. Yes. We'll come on to that. And cheddar, who knows? Yeah, it's always a lottery. (laughs) It is. So spot correlations, now we see butter fat higher in Oceania. You know, otherwise, you know, skimmel powder is actually below the European prices Mm. and more in a par with the US. So a bit all over the place. Demand was, you know, reasonable for all products except skimmel powder, which was profoundly weaker. Mm -hmm. And that's disappointing because of where we are in the seasonal offerings because yeah we expect to see as as volumes drop if there's a good market out there buying you'd expect to see volumes hold up and expect to see demand much better than what we've what we've got now that's going to continue as as we see the offerings drift a week from here but this event was pretty sad yeah one of your favorite demand charts steve but an interesting one nonetheless it started low and it stayed low and didn't last long did it no so looking at the regional buying, now the, the indices on the side are off this for good reason. This shows the indicators. These are relative volumes, not percentages, volumes of sales. Helmut powder dipped with that lower offering. The Middle East didn't turn up this mm. time. Now we've been watching this because that big bump that we've seen for some months looks like it's over. Yes. And that reflected in just a bit, bit of a softer result. And skimmel powder into China was also disappointing with that lower offering. So we end up with a skim of powder forward, forward curve picture, which is really mixed. And mm. so while well, we got that, if we like that influence of the European production expectation there, it's taking a bit to catch on in some, some of these signals. Yeah. Interesting. But in cheese, that gap between GDT results and where the US market is, is widening and staying wide. So that's, um, that's one to watch and, you know, how they come back together. Mm will be interesting. My tip is that GDT brings them back together the other way around. <laughs> That's right. This was a big change. See, AMF mm. discount fell below $1,000. Hasn't been there much lately. So that's uh, that's really interesting to watch as well. And the synthetic value, I thought it was worth pulling this out, that whole milk powder has dipped lower against the you know synthetic skim milk powder AMF combination. Uh, Which historically is when we have seen Middle Eastern buyers turn up, Steve. Yeah. But not this time. When it represents good value. Mm. Yeah. And just like recapping on GDT, you'd think now we've got a, a weaker skim of powder signal. We've got reasons why that is the case. 
And we've seen that, you know, we saw a load up of trade mm -hmm. in the real in the full trade. So as we were talking before, Joe, it looks like, you know, we might see buyers sit back and wait a bit. Yeah, just let the, the mechanism do its work and see how far prices can fall because it appears that, as you say, Steve, they have stocked up. It's not a lot of demand pull through there. They can afford to just sit back and wait. Mm. Mm. Which makes those futures markets look, look you know, a little bit more confusing. Yes. Okay, chart of the week. Chart of the week. We're going across to the US and just having a look at some of the January data that's come out this week. Firstly, non-fat dry milk stocks a little bit up. On very low volumes, though, Steve, this time of year, really quite small <laughs> volumes. And when we, we roll forward to production, we can see why. Again, skim milk powder and non-fat dry milk production well down in these latest set of figures from the US. Cheddar also down this mm. month quite significantly. So some interesting trends in terms of, of skim milk powder coming out of the States. It's not going to be available for there. So it's all going to be all eyes on Europe really, isn't it? So that week of production and stocks going up a little would suggest there's been a pretty poor offtake in that one. Absolutely. Gosh, we haven't seen stocks that low for a long time. That's right. Okay. You've got a little teaser, Steve, Just for a next week. plug for coming attractions. <laughs> uh, we, we can get so confident that we start talking about next week. <laughs> so next week we're going to run through uh, our colleague Vuko and I are going to sit through a session where we're going to talk about the 2023 global trade and rather than it just being a stat session we're going to talk about what are the most what are the 10 most interesting facts we can draw out of that that have relevance going forward. Mm. So stay tuned and look How out for exciting. that. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> okay that's all from us. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week.